Okay, Sheila. What do your <laughs> what do your god bumps feel like? <laughs> what do my god bumps feel like? Well, typically I feel them in my thighs, uh -huh. which I think is weird. And I've never heard anybody else talk about before. Oh, you know, I was feeling them all the way down in my thighs this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what uh, what's the sensation? Well, and now the word that I use is effervescence mm -hmm. because the effervescence, the bubbliness when you drink a soda and how that feels on the tongue and in your mouth, that's how it feels inside of my thighs. And I have gotten them elsewhere. Like I may feel them on my arms or the back of my neck, something, but that's more rare for me. Mostly it's, it's in my thighs uh -huh. and it's very specific. It only lasts for a few seconds. Uh -huh. It's nothing I can control and I never know when it's going to happen, but I, <laughs> but it makes me pay attention when it happens. I've been getting keener and keener about when it happens uh -huh. to to just in that moment, just take that instant to be really aware, keenly aware of what I'm saying, what someone else is saying to me, or what the experience is. Like you've said, when you're listening to music, right, and you feel that, mm -hmm. what's the line in the music now? Or what's the, um, is, is it a C note, a, a G note, you know, what what is it about that music yeah. in that piece, right? Because it's not usually the whole song, it's one second mm -hmm. you know or two yeah, seconds yeah there, right? but it's almost going. like it wakes you up right it yeah. just wakes you up it's an acknowledgement mm -hmm. right like, yeah hello yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what do they feel like emotionally what is there emotional and emotion content to that when it happens well i you know that's a great question i didn't think about that too much other than excitement maybe mm -hmm. the excitement or the thrill of something I can't control is happening in my body and now that I have more academic knowledge about it from reading your book and all right too it's helped me to put more context around it so that I think I know what's happening I may be completely wrong still but at least I have a little more framing around it right so then I think that probably raises that level of excitement or thrill because it's like something external is coming into my internal and it's stirring up something even mm. though I may not really exactly know what that is yeah okay so um, have you ever thought about uh, trying to invoke them, you know, for no reason except just at will? Yes, but not, uh, I've not had much, I, I don't even know if success is the right word to use, but I've not seen that happen or felt that happen as mm -hmm. much. That's um, because typically when I meditate, I'm, I'm going into a different state anyway. And I'm less aware of what's going on with the body. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, how often would you say that you get these God bumps? Um, well, I've been getting them more and more for sure. Um, I first started getting them or the, I became aware that I was getting them maybe like in 2005 and 2006. Mm. So, and back then it was really rare yeah, it, it mm -hmm. might have been once a year, you know, a couple of times a year that I even were, was really aware of them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now it's, it can be once a day, it may be two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. It's very sporadic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have you ever used them for guidance and helping you make decisions? No, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Cool. So uh, do you have any questions or comments about God bumps? Mm. Well, um, it's been a couple years now, I think, since I read your book. So mm -hmm. I probably need to go back and read it again to give you um, 
a really good question to ask you a really good question about them. But I'm, I'm, I think right now in the last couple of years, I've just been gathering information, like how many people feel these, what do they feel? And like, you've asked me, how often do you feel them? And I only recently even thought about, I think you're the one that brought it up to me using them for guidance, you know, and then mm. Bruce Lipton echoed that mm. as well in his answer, right. To yeah. lean into when you feel them use that. Um, but that whole thing about going with the flow and going where your God bumps lead you is still very new to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sheila. That's really helpful. This is a, a very beneficial, yeah, to, uh, to share this with, with folks. <laughs> thank you, Davey. Yes, I think just the awareness of it, right, is the is a really good place to start. I guess we've got to start there, right? If we're not yeah. aware of them, it's just yeah. like any other feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks again. So beautiful, thank yeah. you so much.